Building an app with Cloud Dev is actually faster than looking for an app or finding an online solution. Hello guys, I wanted to share with you a very exciting uh, thought or experiment that I did. It's pretty mind blowing and if you guys haven't started using Cloud Dev already, I highly recommend it to check it out. I will show you in a moment. So the initial idea for this video was to cover uh, a new research paper about Agent E, which I will cover um, probably in the next video. But when I was kind of summarizing the paper, I realized that it was uh, pretty hard from a format perspective and editing perspective to read this. And I thought that the video might be boring. So I decided that I wanted to highlight portions of the PDF. Now the issue was that I don't have a PDF reader except for uh, this one that I have like in the Chrome and I wasn't aware of a solution that allows easy highlighting of PDFs. So I thought of okay let's find a PDF highlighter. So I started writing PDF writer in, in Google and I was bombarded with many solutions but then I thought okay why not just build this solution. Let's see how long does it take. So I came to Cloud Dev and short pause if you guys don't know what Cloud Dev is it's a new project uh, you can find it in uh, github I will share the link in the description it's a visual studio code extension it's very easy to install and basically it allows you to connect Cloud or other LLMs and build code very fast for you so I decided to open up Cloud Dev and this was the whole conversation it took me like two minutes from the moment I realized, okay, it might be faster to build this than to actually find this. And it was less than one cent, uh, 10 cents. So basically the prompt was as following, like the ugliest, not detailed prompt at all, like very fast, just wrote, can you help me and create a simple solution that will allow me to open a PDF file and highlight specific pieces of the text in and then I, I will be able to save it, I even like grammar mistakes, etc. Pretty much a tool for viewing PDFs and also highlighting portions. So zoom in, zoom out, etc. Create it in uh, this folder. And many times when I give the prompts, I just use um, voice prompts. So this is why it, it looks, it, it's so unorganized. But I wanted to see what happens if I give it a shitty prompt. Does it still produce good results? So here's what it said. Certainly, I'll create a simple PDF viewer and highlighter application using Python and PyMU PDF library. Basically, it wanted to execute this command, so it created a directory as I requested. Then it created it created this file. It also created the README file, which you can see over here. Then I wanted to run this it had some sort of an error so it executed it executed a command that adjusted the error i mean just had to install this module and then it was already good to go basically i just had to come here open the pdf highlighter and it was ready this was ready like it took me literally i think less than 120 seconds and here is the functionality so this is the original pdf let's zoom in zoom in okay there we can make more adjustments obviously but so this is the original pdf that i want to cover and then highlighting we can highlight portions of the pdf like this very easily and then we can save the pdf so PDF with highlights, let's override this because this was like a demo that I did. Give It gives me a notification, PDF successfully saved. And let's open this. PDF with highlights. And as you can see, we already have this good to go. So pretty crazy, crazy times that you can actually build something faster than actually looking it up and finding an online solution. Um, I'm wondering maybe we should make a few adjustments. Okay, let's make let's make a few adjustments just so you'll see how fast this is. OK, 
can you also add an ability to pick different colors for the highlighting for highlighting also add an ability to zoom in and zoom out using pressing plus and minus also add an ability to what else should we add to choose if we want to add text and add a picker for features text or highlighting so I'm, I'm not I'm on purpose I'm not giving it like clear instructions because I want to see what it generates but basically I wanted to add an ability to choose colors for highlighting add an ability to choose if we want to add text or a picker or or, um, or highlighting and this should be with uh, like picking between the features and the ability to zoom zoom in and zoom out let's see how long will it take us so it's making the api request we already spent 16 cents on this let's see i'm very curious to, curious to see as as you can see it's very fast let's close this down we might need to add okay so it's updated the readme Not that I care about this readme at the moment, but still, let's let it create a readme. Okay, now let's run the command and see what happens. Okay, so tools, this was added, choose highlight color. So we can choose a highlight color. We can zoom in and zoom out. And we have the picker here. Let's see if it works. Let's open this research. We have the picker here. We can highlight if we change the highlight color i don't think that it is working i no it doesn't work it just it just changed the color of the when you like select the text but eventually it still uses the yellow highlight but that's fine i mean we can adjust this easily and if you want to add text add text and we have added the text let's add a bigger text add remark one so we added so it added a comment it didn't add like a real actual text but that's fine we can adjust this but not that's not the point of the video <laughs> you just the point of the video was actually as i said to show you um, to cover this research which is very interesting and i will cover this in next video and to show you but eventually I wanted to show you how fast it is just to create a simple SAS. Uh, it's not like A to Z ready for production, but for personal use, it's already good to go. And I'm going to use this in my next videos. So yeah, if you guys haven't checked Cloud Dev yet, I highly recommend that you do. And yeah, I guess that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Comment below if you have ideas for improvement. And until next time, keep on automating.